Human rights group says no to military aid to the Philippines. Let's go. Good morning from Manila, Miles. Good evening there in New York. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Miles, first off, give us an idea. How much military assistance is the U.S. providing the Philippines each year? And where do these funds go? Now, before he answers that question, I don't know much about this group. Not sure if they're comprised of solely Americans or Filipino Americans or Filipinos, but you can look them up or you can check the description in the video. So that's a bit of a difficult question. Um, it is kind of hard to find these numbers year by year and the total number fluctuates. But as of right now, our total sum for um, security assistance to the Philippines as a whole from 2016 to now is $2.5 billion. Wow. Now $2.5 billion is big money. That would be about 125 billion pesos. I would say it kind of averages around 250 to 500 million and fluctuates around there and we're waiting to see we've been seeing a increasing trend of more and more security aid going to the Philippines All right, and where do these funds go or would you know and tell us where is the difficulty in terms of trying to monitor uh, the amount of aid uh, the Philippines is receiving from the United States now I don't know about you guys but truly the Philippines will benefit from any military support it can get especially when standing up against China. Now, do you think the Philippines should stop receiving military aid from other countries? Is that going to help the Philippines at all? What do you guys think? Put it in the comments. Right. So it goes to a bunch of different projects. And so you can basically separate it to saying there is the military specific side, which is the AFP side. And the different forms of aid would be in the forms of either military training, um, donating old art like military articles from the U.S. directly to the AFP, or um, also um, donating money directly to the AFP so that they can purchase weapons from arms manufacturers in the United States. Now, this group wants the U.S. to stop military assistance to the Philippines. Shouldn't they be asking the U.S. government why the U.S. continues to support the Philippines? Um, so that's more of the military side. On the More on the PNP side, it's very similar to the military side where there will be training or there will be donation of um, uh, materials such as weapons or armor or um, different sorts of technology. Um, yeah, and so that's usually the form that this aid is looking like. Um, we also have been seeing a lot of arms sales recently that I know um, we might want to discuss. Well, that is something mutual, you know. Both parties benefit from that. So I don't think there's a problem with that. Yes, and uh, in terms of monitoring these, uh, is the U.S. Congress able to actually check where the funds are going? I will say yes and no. I will say... You know what? In the first place, they should be asking this from the U.S. government. They, they should be expecting an answer from the U.S. government as to why it supports the Philippines. Why do you guys think the United States continues to support the Philippines if the U.S. believes or thinks that the Philippines should be, shouldn't be given military support because it is a human rights violator? Then why does the U.S. continue to support the Philippines? Say, um, specifically, Congress itself has... Um more oversight capabilities and they are able to see more internal briefings of where exactly things are going because a lot of this um a lot of this security aid is being either donated by the department of defense or the state department and so a lot of these very specific donations are in very specific programs that may have um confidentiality issues so may not be available for view for the general public but um people within congress are able to see it but in general, us as uh, the general public, we see giant batches of numbers that will be allocated to South, you know, Southeast Asia or the Asia Pacific. And then we have to try and separate numbers from those areas, which is very difficult. All right. But your group, ICHRP US, along with Malaya Movement and Kabatan Alliance, has lobbied for. Oh, OK. So there's more than one group for a stop to U.S. military assistance to the Philippines these past few years. Uh, why is this important to your group? 
it's very important to us because i mean plainly and simply we don't want you at for for us here in the united states we don't want he said for us here in the united states so does that mean the other groups are not from the united states and members of the group in the united states this is what they have to say u.s taxpayer dollars being used to um you know fund and be used against the people of the philippines and used um to commit human rights violations it's very simple and in that is our main priority so basically this group does not want the u.s to help or send military aid to the philippines using u.s taxpayers money to be fair that's that that this group has a point so if and when the Philippines decides to purchase military equipment, for example, using their own money, it's basically okay for them, for this group, right? Now, how would you respond to criticisms from supporters of the Duterte administration that this is a form of interference in the state of Philippine affairs? They've always invoked sovereignty, even when it comes to possible probe by the International Criminal Court. So how would you address that? We've, we've heard this allegation quite a few times, and I would just like to say that this is a this is an issue of United States taxpayer dollars. Like it is our money that is being used to fund these human rights abuses over there. Um, we are not imposing, we're not trying to impose anything for it electorally. We're not trying to change domestic policy. We're not trying to do things like that other than say, we don't want US military aid being used for human rights abuses by the Duterte administration. Now, human rights is just way too much for me to talk about, but if the allegations against the Philippines for human rights violations were proven true, what does that make the United States then? A supporter? Think about it. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one.